Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to learn how to crochet the thermal stitch. This stitch is very thick, very sturdy, great for things that need to be heat resistant or very strong. It's a variation of the single crochet which means that it's easy to learn and easy to work up. Let's learn how to use this stitch today. In order to crochet the thermal stitch, you can start with any number of chains. There is no multiple needed to start this stitch. Now with normal single crochet, I did say this is a variation of single crochet, with normal single crochet or with any starting chain, I usually like to go into the back bar here. I feel like it gives a cleaner edge. With this stitch, we are not going to do that. We are going to go into the back loop only of our foundation chain. So since it is a single crochet variation, we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and just that back loop only and make a single crochet. We're going to do this in the back loop only all the way to the end of the row. This is going to leave the front loop open and we will use that in the next row which will help create the double thickness. You can see I'm going into the back loop only of each chain. So there is my first row of the thermal stitch. Now in order to start a new row, since this is the single crochet variation, we're doing a chain one and turn. Now, I would normally hold my work like this so that I can go into these stitches here. With the thermal stitch, I like to hold it at an angle like this. I'll show you why here in a second. First things first, we are going to go into the back loop only of the current row, so this one right here, and then we're going to go into the other side of the chain from the beginning, the loop that we left open. So I'm gonna go insert my hook into that other half of the foundation chain. And now I'm going to make a single crochet as normal. That's all we're doing. Into the back loop only of that next stitch and the other open loop from the row below it. So we're still going through two loops to make our single crochets. It's just that the loops are a little bit different than if we were crocheting a single crochet normally, right? Last one here, so the back loop only and the bottom loop as well. Complete that single crochet. Now for this and all other rows, we're going to chain one Remember, I would normally do it like this, but I find that it's easier to hold it like this. So now you can see there's the back loop only of this current row right here and the open loop from the stitch below, from the row below. Complete that single crochet. Go into the back loop only and the loop from the previous row and complete that single crochet. This is all there is to the thermal stitch. Isn't that easy? It's a very simple, you know, variation of the single crochet and it gives it such a thick, plush, sturdy fabric. Now there is a trick to fastening off so that it looks nice and clean. So you would literally complete this row that we're doing here over and over and over again. And it makes it super, super thick super, super dense. When you are ready to fasten off, you're going to chain one like normal and turn. Now I am going to hold it as normal this time because I'm going to go through both of the normal loops, quote unquote normal loops, right, from the stitch and that open loop from the row before. So I've got these three loops that I'm going into now and I'm going to complete that single crochet as normal. Go through both of the current loops and the one from the row below it. Single crochet, both and the one below it, right? Try to show you this the best way I can without my hand in the way. And that is it. So the thermal stitch is very easy, very easy.
going through these three loops on the last row really helps to clean up those edges so that you don't have any you know rogue loops hanging out from that last or second to last row but this is how you create the thermal stitch I know this is a tiny little swatch but it really is so easy work one up today work up a little square it's great for um, trivets or hot pads things like that in the kitchen look for a new pattern using this stitch on hearthookhome.com soon thanks for watching I look forward to crocheting with you soon